Y'all already see by the title what I'm finna talk about. So let's just dive straight into it. Um, if you're not subscribed to me, please hit the subscribe button and the like, all that good stuff, whatever. So a dude hit me up and um he called me. He was like, Hey, I wanna hook up with you, you're so cute. I'm like, sure, whatever, how much you got, where you located. He was like, I'm on Star Island. If you guys don't know, in Miami is a area. Well, it's an island called Star Island, um, near South Beach, and Lil Wayne got a house over there, um, a whole bunch of celebrities, whatever. So I ended up going to the um guy house on Star Island, and he was like, "You're so attractive. I want to do something different with you, something more spontaneous, like public play." So I'm like, "Public play? You wanna?" do the nasty outside like in front of everybody because i know that's don't get me wrong i done did public play and it's not bad but it's not something that's my main it's not my main thing and if you get caught i mean you know that it's a charge you could go to jail it's called indecent exposure you can't expose yourself to the public well you don't supposed to um with that being said so i was like okay how much you got he we agreed on the price and he was like um okay get in the car so i got in his car and we went to an area called hialeah so this like if y'all don't know hialeah it's like a hispanic area you got dominicans mexicans everything under the sun honey that's hispanic um with that being said so we riding around and he wanted me to slob on his knob while he was driving so i remember slobbing on it 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 and i got up we talked for a little while played some music, rode around a little bit more, talked some more, and then he wanted me to slob on it, slob on it, slob on it again. So I guess his whole thing was he liked to, well, he wanted me to slob on it while he ride around, and I guess, he didn't have tinted windows. So I guess he wanted to show people him getting slobbed on, I don't know. I didn't ask all these questions, just run me my money so I could get the job done and go home. Um, but yeah, I guess that's his fetish to be in public and whatever like that. So, okay. So my y'all, we leave out of Hialeah and ride towards Overtown and Overtown is like the hood. So we ride through Overtown and it's like, I keep slobbing on him and then get up for a little breather of course and talk for a little bit then go back at it get back up so i'm i'm catching glimpses glimpses of what area like we ride and of course i'm sitting to watch my surroundings like where you the hell you taking me at so we get over there and i remember as i'm doing it his feet and his his he kept hitting the gas and the brake. The gas and the brake. So I'm like this. Like I'm on it, but I'm like, I can't really eat it up how you supposed to. This is like he got my head like about to hit the steering wheel. So right before I could get up and tell him, babe, like, why is you driving like that? You okay? Like, okay, I, I know I know what I'm doing. Hence to why I have a time ring. I know I know what I'm doing, but relax on the, the gas and the brakes. By the time I was getting up to lift my head up to tell him to stop, <laughs> boom, he hit the back of somebody's car. Oh my God. When I tell y'all, it was crazy because I was topless, but I had like a bottom, my bottom half covered. So when he hit the um, back of the people's car, he immediately like froze like he was in shock. And the person, I got, of course I got up 
and I hurry up and grab something to throw across me. By the time I threw something across me, the person who was in the car in front of us popped out the car, like looking at the damage to the back of their car and looking at us like, it's just, like what's wrong? Like y'all don't, can y'all drive? And he hurry up and uh, went in his pockets and um, I think pulled out like $600, $700 and just gave it to them. It was like, look, it's just a scratch. Don't call the police, please. And I guess he just wanted to avoid any law enforcement. You know, I guess he didn't want to end up going to court. Um, So after that, I was already ready to go home because I'm like, we just crashed into somebody's car. Like the horniness should be, the horn, you shouldn't be horny no more. Like it's, it's over with. So we ride off from the little accident thing. He get him the money. They they left. They ain't want to call the police either. Whatever like that. So we ride off. And he told some. Ooh, that was a thrill. That was so fun. You want to do it again? Bitch, what? Bitch, what? I'm like, I'm not for the play bumper cars with you. I say, baby, um, oh, that's my mom. My mom texts me. She need me. I got to go home, babe. Maybe we could try it again tomorrow. Girl, bye, honey. So he ended up taking me back to his house. We played at his house for a little bit. I went home, honey, and I ain't, it's like, the money is good dealing with certain kind of guys, don't get me wrong, but sometimes you have to ask yourself, was it or is it worth it? And in that situation, you have to know when to say no, like you have to know when to say no, I'm going home. What if I would have stayed in the car with him and kept doing it like, what if this would have been a real bad accident? What if he would have ran it like closed his eyes for a split second? Mind you, this was an older dude, seventies. I think he's in his seventies, I believe. What if he would have ran into a wall? Like, what if he would have ran into some water? I don't know. What if he would have killed me, honey? Then I wouldn't have been here looking all pretty on camera talking to my um subscribers. But anyway, so that's the end of this story time. Let me know what y'all would have did in this situation. Um, and let me know, do y'all like story times like this? I ain't gonna lie. I got some stories for y'all ass, honey. I got some stuff for y'all. So just let me know if y'all enjoyed this story time. I'll make more. Um, yeah. My um social media is in the description box below. Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Cash App. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and I don't know what else to say. I'm out. Bye, y'all.